So I want to start with just a very simple quote, and it comes on the home page of the American Board of Medical Specialties, so our counterpart in medicine. The American Board for Medical Specialties, recognized as the gold standard in physician certification, believes higher standards for physicians means better care for patients. We will be crafting our version of that statement for the homepage of the National Board for Professional Teaching Standards. What I hear in that statement is that certification is the med medical profession's assurance to the public that this is an accomplished practitioner. And since they believe that certified physicians make a difference in patient care, you must conclude only one thing. You have to have as many board certified physicians as possible. That's how it works. The medical profession has become, I think we'd all agree, the epitome of the definition of a profession. It's not perfect. It never will be perfect. Human endeavors cannot be perfect. But medicine is as good as it gets. And in 1987, when the founders of the National Board came together to create this organization, they had in mind the medical model. People knew what medicine had done during, throughout the 20th century to become what it is today. And if you've looked at any of the history, 100 years ago, medicine was not the epitome of the profession. Conscious decisions were made. And it was, a, it was a lot of work over decades. We created standards, profession-based and determined standards in 25 different areas of teaching. We created a very good process for certifying when teachers meet those standards. It's not perfect. We're trying to make it better. We're always trying to make it better. But you won't find a better process out there now that will certify, that will show you when a teacher is highly accomplished. What we have not done that medicine did was make this the norm, not the exception. It has to be what everyone in our profession aspires to. That's how you define a profession. Professions are not led by an elite group of Navy SEALs. A profession means across the board you have accomplished practitioners. That's what we have to strive for. We're proud of the 106,000 board certified teachers who are out there now. I've got 18 of the best ones right here on either side of me, and you're going to hear from them in a minute. But that's 3%. And that means that most children in this country will never sit in a classroom with a National Board Certified Teacher. If only 3% of our physicians were board certified, we would not have the quality of health care in this country that we have today. We're proud of Wyoming, 7% of the teachers. Mary has bigger aspirations for that. She's only about growing that number. And the board certified teachers in the state of Wyoming are helping to do that. What we want to talk with the members of the House and the Senate who have lived this experience themselves as physicians, we think that they are in a great position to understand what we're trying to do to help teaching get to the same place. No one talks about this work better than board certified teachers, and I'd like to turn to some of them now. My uh, university teacher prep program uh, really contrasted with national board. Um, many of my professors focused on lectures on societal problems, on issues in education, how things were going wrong. I even had one professor who went as far as to suggest that as a, as a white guy, I would, despite my best efforts, only be somewhat effective at teaching children of color. I'm so thankful that the National Board accomplished teaching framework gave me a different story. National Board aligned more closely with my undergrad work as an engineer. Uh, board certification led me to develop the habits of mind 
to diagnose student needs, to address the problems, and to evaluate my success by reflecting on my teaching practice. Board certification taught me how to think. The teacher prep just told me what to think. Had I continued in engineering, I would have started out at a low level, mentored by senior engineers, gone through years of experience before being trusted to build any kind of major structure. Instead, in teaching, as a first year teacher at Cordova Lane Elementary, I was dropped into a kindergarten class with seven different languages, despite having only taught one hour, not taught, having only spent a one hour observation in any grade below second. You can imagine how intimidating that first year was. And I was left alone while I attempted to build bridges of learning in my students. But there were two national board teachers. I didn't know there were board certified teachers at that time. That wouldn't have meant anything to me because I never heard of board certification. But they pulled me under their wing and they taught me how I could address student needs. They would serve as models of what accomplished teaching looked like in, a, in a opposition to just delivering curriculum. Had it not been for those two teachers, I guarantee I would have left the profession. Instead, I sought board certification myself. And not only did I sharpen my teaching skills, but I also developed fluency in a common language of accomplished teaching. And that's come in really handy for collaborating with other teachers, not just in my district or my school, but statewide, as I've now been called to do as I am vice chair of the California Teacher Advisory Council. So because of board certification, I share a like-mindedness with fellow accomplished teachers, and that allows us to build a teaching professional culture.